Got a job for you. You remember the Grandview Hotel? That shithole we pulled you out of? Need you to head back there. Jacob nabbed a whitetail by the name of Briggs, and he's using the same brain-melting nonsense he tried on you. All in the hopes that Briggs will give up the wolf stand. I don't think our boy can hold out as long as you did. And if he gives up our location, we're done. So we gotta move on this quick. Some folks here think the smart move would be just to offer him. But if we start killing our own to save our asses, how's that make us any better than Jacob? Nah, I ain't going down that road. Here's what we're gonna do instead. Wheaties cooked up a little deprogramming package. Same thing we used on you. Need you to swap out the tape they got running in Briggs' room with the one I'm gonna give you. And then, well, then we'll see what happens. If everything goes smooth, our guy comes back to Earth. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. What's up? Cool. These babies are going on the air pronto. You come across any more? I'll add them to the playlist.
heal. Reach the top and mess up the jammer. He's over there! It's in my sight. Oh, 
making a move. And now our heroes are shot. Weakness. Feeble disease. We let the weak dictate to the power. That should be close now. Stay real quiet in there. We don't want Breeze getting hurt. Just a heads up. I don't have cameras in the building. Remember, once you're inside, swap the tape and let the deprogramming run its course.
are looking real good for Briggs. Whitetails are on the way to pick them up. That's bad. You need to be checking on those fucking pledges more often. Just found another one on the floor. Jacob won't be using the Grand View to fuck with anyone now. God damn. I'd love to see his ugly mug when he hears he lost his little torture chamber. <laughs> You know, you proved everyone wrong, Deb. Everyone except me. Always knew you were the real deal. I'll see you back at the den, soldier. Take care. Let me know if you find anything. strong not again yeah, <laughs> I know you are in pain the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh huh you're not the only one to be tested but you know that I had a wife So beautiful, isn't she? We were pregnant with our first child. And we were just babies ourselves, really. And I was terrified. I'm becoming a father. Mostly about money. She wasn't worried. She had faith that things were gonna work out. She always had faith. friend. Hmm. It was an accident. The Lord take it. They rushed him to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes. And they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was going to live. God was looking out for our daughter. And they left me alone in the room with her. I just stare at my daughter, so helpless and so innocent. When all she had in the world was me, when nobody from nowhere was. Nothing. And in that moment, I knew that God was testing me. He was laying out a path before me, and all I had to do was choose. So I put my hand on my little girl's head. 
And I leaned in and I could smell. And we prayed together. Prayed for wisdom. Prayed for strength. And I knew. I heard God's plan for me. So I took my fingers and I put them on that little plastic tube that was taped angelic face and I pinched it shut. Mm. And after a little while, her legs began to kick in, kick in. And then nothing. Stillness. Release. The Lord giveth and the Lord take. Pain sacrifice these are all part of his test and we have to prove that we can serve God no matter what he asks you've done well
wasn't sure you were gonna pull it off, but you did it. Oh, will you look at him? Beautiful. Can't thank you enough. With this guy here, I've got everything I need to synthesize a formula. Here, take a test batch I was working on. Should help you hunt these damn things down. Give it a test drive. Here they're training more judges over at the Fang Center. Please, you listen. God damn, do you I saw have truck good after truck know coming out of the old brewery, all loaded up with barrels full of drugs. That must be where they make it. Please, you gotta do something. Those so spot waffles you don't get between a woman and her divorce settlement. Adelaide Drubman, pleased to make your acquaintance. Appreciate all your help getting my marina back, but honey, I got a problem. Those Peggy shipbirds stole my tulip. She's the nimblest goddamn helicopter this side of Montana, and I'll be goddamned if those fuck trumpets are gonna take her from me. I won that bird in my divorce fair and square. The walking erectile dysfunction who took her painted her that awful shade of Peggy Mayonnaise. So the only way you'll be able to find her is to ID the pilot. Should be easy to spot him. The only other birds around the area are flown by women. We all used to fly together on weekends, but that friendship went tits up after those thunder cunts joined Eden's Gate. So, I got no problem if you accidentally shoot them in their disloyal faces. How about it, honey? You help me, and Tulip and I'll show up wherever and whenever you need us. Thanks for helping out my county jail, buds. We need to unwind. I've got a job for any fisherman who got time. If the liberals couldn't take my guns, these Peggy sure as shit won't. get one shot to get rid of faith make it count one of our people got shot near the old jessup estate made it back and told us they were doing experiments i don't ever slow up no i don't take shit i got no love for the fakeness if you want to play tough and want to hate this i'll always show up i don't ever slow up no i don't take shit i got no love for the fakeness if you want to play tough and want to hate this i'll always show up and make a statement Everything 
everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no There are stories about a group of cougars who take people to Raptor Peak. Word is, you're supposed to meet them at the lookout tower.
Noises coming from that old hotel down the way. The place has been haunted for as long as I can remember, so I don't know if it's the cult or ghosts.
wonder how much more of this fight I can stop. Remind you that we shouldn't be living our whole entire life like this. You're doing the Lord's work. Look down there!
damn fine job getting rid of those cultists. Maybe you can help me. Target shoot straight in the suit. Just you know, most things can't get around here would think twice. Yes. I'm safe. <laughs> Say that place is haunted. But I never Everything much bought into that kind of work here. Anyway, keep up the good work, Rook. been a bunch of cult traffic around the old sulfur mine. Hell, that place is massive. You know they gotta be hiding something good in there. I think it's worth the risk. You're not gonna believe me? But there's a crazy-ass bear in Lydia's cave. The cult used that drug to try and turn it into some kind of weaponized super bear. Didn't work. And it got loose. It's nasty as all get out and tough. We sent a bunch of people to kill it, but none of them came back. I'm hoping you got what it takes to get rid of that sucker. Please, before it kills more people.
hot tits and call me Shirley. You made it just in time for all the fun. And you brought Tulip back in one piece. Now, I always keep my word. So, if you need a pilot who can shoot the dick off a gopher from 50 feet in the air, I'm your gal. You call me. Anytime. Except around sunset. Xander likes to do yoga around then, and I like to watch. You ain't lived until you've seen that ass and downward-facing dog. Anyways, thanks again, hon. I owe ya. I'm moving! shit that those Eden's gay bros are shipping everywhere, man. That stuff gets in the river and it's a toxicity tonic. See those big green containers? They're full of bliss and the Peggy's are shipping them somewhere important. We need to find where and destroy them. My life coach says to break problems into bite-sized pieces. So step one, I know about a Peggy laptop that'll help us track down these containers. Once we find them, we blast them! Whoop! 